Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video session. All right, so today's uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm pretty much I just wanted a quick uh, I'm sorry I wanted to do a quick demo of this um, Samsung um, top loading washing machine. Um, I've had it now. We've had it now for about a week, and when I first got the washer, I was like, okay. <laughs> How do you work this thing, man? You know, because I'm so accustomed to like this basic washer. You know, you press your button, you set the, you set the load amount, you set the load size, and you just do your thing. But this had a few more buttons that I just wasn't familiar with. You know what I mean? And I wanted to kind of just show that. All right. So this is the Samsung top loading um, washing machine. And let me just kind of show you the model, the exact model, if it'll if it'll help me zoom in here. So it's the cold washer. Model W WA47. Get a little bit closer here. Uh, A47 CG 3500 AW. Right, and it's pretty cool. You know, I like it. Um, the fact that you can see all the action once it's once the lid is locked. You know, and it's actually start washing. Right, so that's what you're gonna do first. So when I first got the machine, I was just like, okay, what do I do? with this thing like how do you work it so i wanted to show a vid create the video so people you know in case others you know are interested in the machine and getting this washing machine um and when you do get it you're like okay it comes with an instruct with the user you know user manual but you know who wants to read through this stuff just being honest i'm <laughs> just being honest i was like okay i was looking at like the safety you know safety instructions how to how to work the thing but you know, and then it has like a QR code here you can scan at the back. But I mean, it's overall, it's a nice washing machine. Again, it's only been a week, so I haven't really see it, uh, seen any, you know, much issues with it. Um, it does take longer because it has to kind of like assess and see how much load is in the machine. So it's like a smart, a smart washing machine, um, so to speak. Um, um, so yeah, so pretty much, uh, let me just kind of show you some things here, right? So this guy, Right here is one of the first. Uh, I haven't seen this on a washing machine before, but this is just in case you want to, you know, do like some hand washing, and you can wash it here in the, you know, in the washer, and then once you're done, it'll drain it out like it normally would when it when it when it's when it's washing, and it's like wringing the, you know, it's doing like the the, uh, the spin dry. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so let me just give you a quick demonstration, a quick demo here. So once you're done, so as you can see, I've already loaded it. And essentially the clothes, you, you kind of load it to like the side because that thing there in the middle, in the center, it's like it's sensor. that's the sensor. Um, I think it's okay if you did, pile, you know, load the closing, the, the clothes in and, um, and you covered it, but you kind of want to do it where it's along the sides. That's kind of like how you want to do that, right? And then once you're done, you're going to, um, this is where you put your your soap right so you put your detergent and your softener in here which we're going to do right now actually before we load the soap as far as like detergent is concerned um i think most detergent because it's using like high efficiency don't quote me on this guys but you essentially want to look for detergents um that has this he and i believe that he is like high efficiency it's supposed to be like um, it's supposed to be like safe for all washing machine. Um, as far as if, if you're the powder type of detergent person, it's kind of, I think it's similar. So you want to look for that as well. But, um, in this, it tells you like the max. So you, you don't want, I guess you don't want to go much higher than this max right here. Same thing for the fabric softener. You want to do that. Okay. All right. So let me load up the detergent and go from there. All right. So we got our detergent. Um, on anytime I'm washing, I like to use like <laughs> one and a half, two of these bad boys, depending on like the size, lo the, the load size. You know, my wife will say, you know, babe, you're kind of like wasting the, the detergent. So this is good. It'll keep things, you know, um, have you not overusing the, um, you know, the detergent or using too much more than you need to. So as you can see, like I, you know, that's kind of like what it is. So, you, you know, you, you dump it in there and just kind of stay within the, you know, below that max um line now we're going to do the same for the fabric softener okay all right get it all in there i don't put too much fabric softener um this is like a preference but again 
you know, just like with the with the you know detergent um, area, it's the same thing. You have like you know you just don't go above that. Sorry, my my camera is taking a while to adjust. All right, so that's essentially what that is. And then once you're done, you essentially close this guy up. Okay, and you're gonna lock this puppy, and then you're gonna start over here where it says power. So you're gonna power this on. Okay. What I do like about it, like the little sounds and chimes it makes, it's pretty good. So, yeah, so here are your different settings, right? You have normal, heavy duty, deep wash, deep conditioning, self clean. I think that's like, obviously, that's self explanatory. It cleans itself after some time. Quick wash, delicates, rinks, spin, spin only. Downloaded, I haven't gotten to this yet. Um, I gotta figure out what, what exactly what that means. If you guys know, comment, you know, leave a comment in, in the comment below and let me know exactly what that is i gotta read up on that one a little bit more but anyway that's pretty much it and this is the dial you know so for this one it's a normal you know so you're going to put it at normal okay and you the different settings here you can put hot warm so i think it's mostly like color clothes that i have in there so i'm gonna do um yeah i mean so you guys can see this a little bit better Okay, all right, so we're not, we're not gonna do hot, we're gonna do, we want cold, or like cold, okay? Now for the water level, and that's exact, exactly what it's telling us with temperature, and then water level. I want this to be, you can have it low, if you have like a small load, but it's like a medium, um, but even with a mid load, I'd like to have the water level just a little bit higher. And then for the soil or how dirty the clothes is, I usually just leave that as normal. Unless you got like some really dirty stuff in there. Maybe from like, you know, kids playing soccer and stuff like that. And you got some grass stains, you know, mud, whatever, right? Then you probably want to put that to heavy. And then everything else I just leave. And then what this does, it tells you the time. So this is going to take an hour and 11 minutes to do its thing. Now, before... I turn the cycle on. I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about. So in here, you want to turn the machine on. And if you, if you, let's say I didn't have clothes in here, but I wanted to wash something, hand wash. This, this guy right here, on this model, because I've seen other videos of older model of this machine, and this button, right, is actually like it was located somewhere in here. And I was like, okay, where is that button? Where is that button? It's here. In case you guys wanted to turn, you know. So when you press this button. You see that the water comes out right so that's actually kind of cool but and you can do your washing manually if you wanted to when you're done obviously you hit and it stops and that's it i just wanted to give you guys a quick demo on that one okay so anyways back to the regular cycle wash cycle okay so you close out of that you you come back right we have our settings still in place and then you hit start there you go all right and then what it's going to do, it's going to spin. It's going to, it's going to test and kind of see how much load is in there. So, you know, it does the whole spin thing for a little bit. Right? It takes a little while to do this, so. Okay, so here it starts to pour the soap out. So this is something different that I've you know you don't see with older machines it's already pouring out the water with the detergent already in there um from the dispenser up up here so it does that it fills it up to the water level that we've set over here right which in this case i've set it to high so it's gonna it's gonna fill it up to that level and that's pretty much it guys it's gonna do its thing for an hour it's gonna take so i think it takes a little bit longer than the normal or traditional washing machine all right so and that's it the other cool thing is once it's done it actually does like a little song it plays like a little chime song like literally which is actually pretty cool so real quick i also wanted to just point this out i literally just um discovered this feature let me see if i can get the lighting out of the way um if you have a, a samsung smartphone um which i do you can also add it to your network. I literally just uh, discovered this while I was making the video. And essentially, it my phone came up and said, hey, we found a washing machine. <laughs> Do you wanna add it? So it's under Samsung Smart Things. And as you can see, we got like 41 minutes left on the washer and on the, 
you know, it'll show you right there. All right, so 41 minutes to go on that one, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you have a Samsung device, Samsung uh, smartphone, um, it'll find it and it'll add it under smart things, right? So let me just kind of, um, hold on, let me see if I can get it here. And you can see under my home, all right? Um, we have the laundry room. Um, let me see what else I could find. And if you have living room, we got the TV. So I guess like it's like a whole ecosystem with uh, Samsung. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. So if you click on that, it'll give you the it'll give you the settings of the washing machine, and you can go in here and kind of like you know configure some things according to your preferences on the machine and stuff like that. So that's another cool feature. So just wanted to add that in there. If you have a if you have a um, Samsung smartphone, this is something that you could also add to your phone. This is it. <laughs> and there you have it, the finishing music of the machine. Lovely. <laughs> These are one of the perks, iFam. So that's, that pretty much concludes this video. Hopefully you guys uh, found some value in this video today. Comment below, let me know if, um, if you have any information about this, uh, this, this section right here about downloading, about downloaded um, um, this particular setting. And uh, let me know. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. All right.